presents Gangbusters. Calling the police, calling the G-men, calling all Americans to war on the underworld. Gangbusters, with the cooperation of law enforcement officers of the United States, presents a picture of the endless war of the police on the underworld. Illustrating the clever operation of law enforcement officers in the work of protecting our citizens. The all-American crusade against crime. Morris gang. More of his campaign to terrorize the community. Any statement for the journal, Chief? Is Bannister still in charge of the case? Of course he is. Well, how come he let the gang pull off this job right under his nose? Because he was trailing another one of the mob cars at the time. He was? Any luck? Yes, he just phoned that he located the car at the Target garage and is waiting there to pick up the owner when he shows up. The Target garage, Mr. Haskins, and don't spare the horses. Reporters have to show up just in time to gum everything up. I'm sorry. You said that before. Car number 10 calling headquarters. Bannister calling headquarters. Come in, please. Headquarters answering car 10. Broadcast to general. Pick up black sedan, license number 36Q355. Two men in it, one wounded. Repeat, license number 36Q355. Calling all cars. Attention all cars. Pick up black sedan. License 36Q355 with two men, one wounded. Dangerous, part of League of Murdered Men. Repeat license 36Q355. Oh, oh sorry. Hello, Mason. What happened to you? Just an accident. Nothing serious. Uh, don't kid me. I've seen him pull it holes before. So you think it's a bullet hole, do you? Well, I, I did think so, but I see now I was mistaken. No, I don't forget it. 
Want to earn an easy five bucks? Hey, I'm always glad to pick up an honest pen. Yeah, drive that crate out of the district and ditch it. Sure. I better keep to the back alleys and dark streets. Hey, I wasn't born yesterday. Why don't you say something, Professor? How am I doing? You seem to be back to normal again, Mr. Taboni. Yeah? I think so. How do you feel? In the pink, Professor, in the pink. Yeah, in the pink. Say, what's all this hocus-pocus about? Didn't I really die in jail? As far as our present medical science could determine you did. Hey, I ain't really dead now, am I? No. How'd you do it, Doc? I doubt if you'd understand the process, even if I explained it. <laughs> I guess you're right. But it's still a good trick if you can do it. Say, where are we? This ain't that set up under the subway, is it? No. This is my old home, where I lived before the law made me an outcast. First of the League of Murdered Men. Hey, Doc, who brought you back to life? A very intelligent question, Mr. Gaboni. But one that is best left unanswered for the time being. Get your things, please. I think it'll be safer returning to headquarters while it's still dark. You've been a car owner. Oh, you mean this? No, it ain't mine. I, I, I just went in to to see if it had a cigarette lighter. You got a match? Yeah, I guess so. Hey, that's swell. Thanks. calling. Have Jerry Rogan picked up. I just called him fooling around a car that had blood stains on the cushions. I didn't find it till after he had gone. It does fit the description of that getaway car. Right. Calling car 54. Attention car 54. Go to 312 Bakeman. Two ladies arguing with rolling pins. That is all. Do you two have to come to the chief's office to listen to police broadcasts? I'm sorry. statement for the papers. After the way they played up last night's business, don't make me laugh. I see your department has scored another outstanding failure. Oh, I wouldn't go so far as to say that. You wouldn't. Gangsters again elude police. I tell you, this has got to stop. There's talk of recalling the entire administration. I know, I know. You said all that before. And I say it again. Where's Bannister? Getting some sleep, I suppose. He's been on this case all night. Sleep? How can he sleep after the way he... So, you decided to get back on the job again, did you? Yes, sir. Seemed like a good idea to me. Any news, Chief? Have they picked up Rogan? No, but he's been phoning you every five minutes at... Hello. Rogan. Hello, Rogan. What's on your mind? Yeah, they're looking for him. Now, listen, Bannister, I don't know anything about that job last night. On the level, I... Sure, I was the guy that drove the car. Yeah, a couple of guys give me a fin to ditch it for them, that's all. You know their names or where we can find them? Well, I, I know Mason, the guy that was shot. They hold out in a flop house on, uh, on Esther Street, 712. Now listen, call up them bulls, will you? Okay, Rogan, thanks. Hello, you mean radio division. Hello? Call up the pickup on Rogan. He's just told us what we want to know. No wonder we don't get anywhere. Letting known crooks go get free when... Get car 39 and tell Tim Nolan to meet me at 712 Esther Street. It's urgent. Hey, what's this all about? Sorry, sir, but the mayor wants me to keep on the job. The mayor? Who's he? Oh. Calling car 39. Attention, car 39. Nolan, meet Bannister at 712 Esther Street. 712 Esther Street. Urgent. That is all. That's all I need. Come on, let me pie. 
And so I formed the League of Murdered Men from dead men. Who would still be dead if I hadn't brought them back to life. <laughs> if you hadn't done it to me, I wouldn't believe it. But hey, what's the idea of this mob of ex-dead men? I wanted men who have to do what I order, whether they like it or not. That's not for me, Doc. I'm much obliged to you for bringing me back to life, of course, but if I don't like a setup, I just walk out on it. You won't walk out on this one. What's going to stop me? These. I brought you back to life. But you have to take one of these every few days if you want to stay alive. You mean I got to keep taking those or I'll die? I'm going to rub you out. That wouldn't help you, Taboni. Because I'm the only man alive who knows this formula. Pretty late for you to report, isn't it, Holligan? I had to stay with Mason. He was wounded getting away last night. Seriously? Just a flesh wound, but it needed attention. Where is he? Esther Street. Did anyone recognize you? No. The paper says the police are looking for a man named Rogan. They claim he knows something. Well, I had to have someone ditch the car. Rogan won't talk. So Rogan won't talk. He's already talked. The police are on the way for Mason. Get to a phone and warn him. to know where I hide out. to take charge. I'll call her wife. Come on, Kim. Indeed, the man is hurt. I was going to put you out, but after what's happened, I'm heading for the state line, and I might need you to keep the coppers from shooting. You think that'll stop them? Shut up. Turn on the radio. Let's hear what they're saying about me. Car 39 calling in. Car 39 calling headquarters. Come in, please. Headquarters answering 3-9. Send wagon to 4th and Market. Hit and run. Victim is dead. Driver escaped, but identity is known. Will probably head for the state line. Order Tri-County Blockade. Driver's name Mason is wanted for murder. Escaped in police car number 10. That is all. Say, what's this Tri-County Blockade business, sister? You really want to know? 
All motorized police units in counties bordering the city are directed from headquarters to key positions on all roads leading out of town. With your description, you haven't got a chance, brother. <laughs> That's what you think. Calling all cars. Attention, all cars. Report stations at once for tri-county blockade. Calling all cars. Attention, all cars. Report stations at once for tri-county blockade. Car 2 Intersection of Grand and Oak. Motorcycle 63. Motorcycle 63. Intersection highways 40 and 71. Car 20. Car 2 Intersection of Grand and Oak. Car 69. Grand and Valley. Report back. Car 47, Bluff and Kings Road, report back. Motorcycle 17, Patrol Hill Road above Marlowe Country Club. Car 26, Jones Terrace, report back. Gas station reports murder car heading west on Highway 40 beyond Fairview. What do you think of the blockade now? If he gets on those dirt roads, he can make it to the state line. We can't possibly blockade them all. He'd be picked up eventually, of course. But in the meantime, what about Vicky? Well, he'd have a better chance of hiding out if he ditched her and beat her back to town. Yeah, of course. He could return by Garvey Overdrive or Burns Avenue. If we could only trick him into thinking these highways weren't covered. Yeah, but he's probably got his radio on and knows everything we're doing. Yeah. Say, that gives me an idea. Lopez in car 52 and Murphy on motorcycle 16 both speak a little Spanish. Worth trying. Let me have that mic. Atención, automóvil número 52 y motocicleta 16, motocicleta 16. López y Murphy, escúchenme. No hagan caso de la orden que les voy a dar en inglés, ¿me entienden? Calling all cars on Garvey Overdrive and Burns Avenue. Change your stations. Work farther north. There's no chance that the murder car will attempt to return to the city. That is all. <laughs> Coppers are born chumps. Did they think I wouldn't have the radio on? Now we'll go back to town. It don't make sense to me. If you take Murphy and Lopez off their stations, what's to prevent Mason from getting back into town? Stop worrying. They won't leave their stations. I just told him in Spanish to pay no attention to the order I gave him in English. Well, I didn't have a chance, eh? <laughs> Here, take the wheel. My arm's killing me. What am I supposed to do, burst into tears? I said take the wheel. Calling police headquarters. Bannister calling police headquarters. Come in, please. Headquarters answering Bannister. Any report on Vicki Logan or that getaway car? Okay, that's it. Chance. Come on, step on it. Give it the gun. Do you see what I see ahead? Get off that running board so they won't start shooting. Get out there, I say.
Chapter 4 of Gangbusters at this theater next week. <laughs>